What's up, Collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic-y ass clowns. Collective. This is a general reading, but we're gonna talk to your ancestors and your spirit guides and see what it is that they want me to tell you. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. What I need for you to do is only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. You hear me, sweetie pies? I don't want you getting all worked up and getting mad, taking in some energy that don't belong to you. Don't be running over there to, to Todd's uh, puzzle piece and, and saying that's yours. Your piece don't even fit in the puzzle. How you gonna put, put, and you done brought some glue and shit, you trying to make a piece fit that don't even belong in that section over there? No, 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 baby, no, 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 none of that. Whatever sounds, sounds, you know, like it fits with your story, then. And if it don't fit with your story, just sit in and see what some other bodies is going, <laughs> some other bodies, <laughs> what some other people and energies that's out here. These are general energies. This is not a personal reading. Okay, but this should be good because these are um, these cards are from they're very I can't lie when I when I read with these cards I cry. Okay, um, because they're very beautiful and they give me such loving, beautiful messages. Okay, so uh, over here uh, we've been doing all them karmic readings. So I said let's let's get some goodness into the collective's life. I got my crystal ball sitting here right with me. Let's see. And it has a rainbow in it. Now, this crystal ball has taken a lot of hits. You see the rainbow? It didn't have this many cracks in it when I bought it. And I've never dropped it or anything. Again, it's, it's reflecting. I never um, it hasn't been dropped or anything rolled or no nothing and but it didn't have this many cracks in it when I first bought it so when I asked um, my spiritual counselor she told me that it was it was a um, taking energetic hits okay so um, yeah and it's like it's it's this this one big you can't really see it, but it's a a big hit right here, all oh, right here. Like I can I can feel it. Like the energy, like um, it's not cracked, but I can feel the cracks. I can't explain it. It's not cracked, but oh, now the rainbow want to show. Let me see. Let's see if you see the rainbow. Damn it. Can't see it. Too much light. That still doesn't do nothing. I don't feel like getting up. She doesn't have the light. But anyway, um, I've had my little crystal ball for about. <coughs> about three years now. I should have gotten more. I want to get more, but I'm not settled yet. So when I, as soon as I get my place, I'm going to have different different ones, different sizes. Yeah. Okay, so please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. Okay. So we have power in reverse. Some of you may feel like you're you don't have power in a situation. Power. 
If someone feels like, um, I don't know who that is out there flipping out. You're flipping out on expression. I mean, you, you need to express something. But it's like you feel like you have no power in your expression. When you want to speak to people. It's like you 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 must be a very humble person. <laughs> you you feel powerless. And I'm smiling because whoever this is, um the first thing I hear is what you need right here. You need a tiger eye. And um, because a tiger eye, let me, let me ask Siri. Hey Siri, what are the characteristics of a tiger eye stone. Here's what I found from Wikipedia. Tiger's eye, also called tiger eye, is a Chateauian gemstone that is usually a metamorphic rock with a golden to red brown color and a silky luster. What are the properties? Hey Siri, what are the properties of a tiger eye stone? Here's what I found from Wikipedia. Tiger's Eye, also called Tiger Eye, is a Chateauian gemstone that is usually a metamorphic rock with a golden to red-brown color and a silky luster. Okay, don't tell you on here. He ain't telling enough, but I'm gonna get some more information. Now see what 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 it does for me. It makes me speak. with strength <laughs> it makes me okay I'm 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 gonna just tell you the truth with this motherfucker see I was I was trying to think of some big words to put in there but no I have this but I don't have this on I'm I'm selling these I have one left and I have a couple evil eye bracelets left but I was wearing a tiger eye and this bracelet will make you tell a person off. This bracelet or this tiger eye will make you cuss a motherfucker out. I started when I was with my dude and I was wearing that tiger eye. I was speaking my mind to him. And that's why we're not together no more because it gave me strength to say things that I wouldn't have said. I was wearing it to work, checking motherfuckers at the fucking warehouse. <laughs> I had to take it off. Okay. And if you are a, a, a meek person, a person that's humble and you don't say nothing, you get, you get that and you put an amethyst on. You're going to start seeing some shit and it's going to make you speak out. Um, you get this tiger eye and get you a uh, either a blue agate or a uh, soda light. And that's good for your throat chakra. Okay. The healing crystal for your throat chakra. And a tiger eye. Okay. Because this is the first card from your ancestors. For some reason, you're not showing power. And with the expression out here, it's something you need to express. And you need a tiger eye. You see? See my nail lady put Louis Vuitton on my nails? And she put the butterfly on there for me because she know I'm spiritual. 
they've been getting snagged and stuff, but she know I'm spiritual and, and she know about the transformation, so she tried to do her little thing for me. I was like, that's cute, thank you, and to match, match it with mine. You can't see it because the light. I got on this color. My hands done got ashy because I've been washing my grapes. I was eating some grapes. They're in the sink over here. You see my clowns in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have a few so um to where I have my own my own um little just made up background. But I'm gonna just keep put different clowns on there, and I'm getting them printed. I'm printing, getting them printed out. So I got that one, but I'm, they're going to be bigger than that. Or they may be, I could put a couple of them, you know. Yeah, I keep them small like that. I wanted them big like her. Yeah. But I could just put a few of them ugly motherfuckers up there. Because those, those represent the energies, male or female, that are karmic. They come into your life to destroy you, to sabotage you, to break up your relationships to just hurt you, okay? Those are the energies that I teach on here to be aware of, okay? Listen. Okay, so. I was finna put pull some more cards and these two fell out. And this is um you're not using your discernment. This is why you don't have power. You're not showing your power. You 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 could be or must be a strong person, but you're not expressing. It's like spirit is saying for you, do not surrender to something. Don't surrender just because you can't express how you feel. Listen. Okay, so I got to pull one more from this deck. Well, okay, spirit. Reflection. It felt three more fell out. Adventure. Freedom. Okay, some of you may just need to take a trip and get away from something or somebody. Okay, Spirit, you doing you you making me okay. Making me lay my cards out a whole different way. I gotta pull two more cards. Two more. One. You're not celebrating. Is is whoever you are. They're not giving me it's it's a it's an energy that surrounds you that wants you to surrender to them. When you should be traveling. Some of you or somebody feels powerless towards this person. And I'm going to have to go a little deeper in this, all right? Because this, when, when I do a spiritual message for you, this is a healing message, okay? So I'm going to find out what spirit is talking about on each of these how many cards I got there? Here? Six, four, eight. So I'm gonna pull eight more cards from a different deck to get some clarification. Okay. 
I'm asking everybody to please hit that thumbs up button for me. And you can share my content on your other channel. And I thank everyone thus far, the donations, the likes, the subscribes, and all the comments. Yes, I'm always making you laugh, but I gotta, you know, from from you laughing from all the anger and the things that I see in the comments when you guys are spitting the hatred from what this person, how they hated on you and how they did this to you, how they broke your heart. You, you're so angry, but I want you to get out of that anger. We're going to heal from that. So all the comments won't be, you know, just foul. And I know my readings be telling you some shit and they be raw and uncut. I'm sorry. I'm a Scorpio and I'm just cutthroat like that. You know, I don't try to be or don't mean to be. I'm working on it. You know, but mm, uh, um, anyway, so this is most likely when I'm doing readings, we're thinking and talking about the person you're dealing with in a relationship, partnership, friendship. Now, with the adventure out here. Next to the power that someone could be trying to take away from you, trying to take your power away from you. And you need to express this to this person. It's um, more or less expression and listening here, right? You could, somebody can be saying, well, I've listened enough and it's time for me to express myself. And someone is not using your discernment. And when, when you're, when you're using your discernment, when you're using your discernment, that's like, now I'm telling y'all, I'm not no um, Google or nothing. I've been on this journey for three years and I'm learning as I speak. Okay. So when you're, you're, it's like using your, you're not using your discernment when it comes to someone. And spirit don't want you to surrender to this person. Yeah. It's freedom out here. It's celebration out here. It's reflection out here. Listening. It's something you need to, to reflect back on or look at yourself. It's like... You could have been the type of person who traveled a lot, you went to parties or, you know, events and things, you felt free. Oh, okay. So for somebody out there, spirit is saying, do not surrender to this person. Take a look in the mirror and look at yourself and see who the fuck you are. Okay? You used to be a person. It's like this person took you through a, 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 a backwards transition. Now, if this is not happening for somebody, this could be an energy that could be coming towards you. You could be on a spiritual journey and learn it. And then here comes the devil that wants to come in and stop you. Because if you're chosen, they are sent to stop you. Okay? And you were free as a bird. Or you're free as a bird. And again, this may not be your energy. This is from your spirit guide. So this could be the energy that could be coming towards you. 
And I, I suggest you get yourself an amethyst. Okay. Because the amethyst is, it, it opens up your crown chakra in your third eye. So it's opening up your discernment. Okay. Do not surrender to this person. Now I'm going to pull some cards. I'll give you three cards for the adventure. Um, somebody can, here's a yeah, some of you have been somebody has been taking a trip. Somebody is coming back from a trip. As I split the deck, the, the uh it showed a trip. A trip. A little trick, somebody's secret. Here's a here's a a, a bridge that someone is gonna have to cross, or wherever you went on this adventure, you went across a bridge. Okay. In Paris, France, it, it it you could have met somebody out there, or if you're going, somebody may meet somebody on a trip or something. Out of the cars falling on the floor, please take it close. Okay, so the anchor down. Now, this, this could be in the past for some of you too, okay? Because with the anchor down, you're not you're not allowing someone to keep you anchored in a situation no more. And with the freedom out here, you since you you're not anchored down no more, you can be, you know, feeling free. Free as a bird. You could have been doing a lot of partying, celebrating, going to events and things. And this person, you know, came into your life to anchor you down. But now you done stopped it. Courtship flipped out. being sneaky. A great fortune that someone is trying to stop. Fox is going towards a great fortune, but he ain't going to get it. And for some of you, this is somebody you was in a relationship with. They looking back at, at, at the sneaky fox is looking back at your relationship. What is the great fortune out here? Why he got you, you know, trapped in a situation. Yeah, this could be have happened in the past. The sneaky fox is going towards a uh, um, great fortune. Unofficial. So he think he's going towards some money or something, but it's 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 not it's not go, it's not. It's unofficial. The person he's coming going towards is unofficial when it comes to a great fortune. And for some of you, this is the heart of your energy. No stability. What is this entrapment here? It's an entrapment with um, poverty. Somebody is in poverty and they ain't telling their friends. Somebody is not getting the message. Somebody hasn't got the message that there's poverty out here and they're not getting a great a great fortune. This person is doing something sneaky outside of the relationship. Um, they're unofficial. This person was unofficial in a the relationship. They was unofficial when it comes to a great fortune they lied about. 
and they was actually in poverty. Um, this person was unofficial when they would text you, write you, message you, call you. Everything was unofficial. This person was just um, someone to keep you trapped in some sort of confined bird cage. Okay, so give me some more energy for the collective. So this is why some of you, um, this is where you weren't using your discernment. Now, for some of you, this could be have happened in the past. This could be currently happening, or this could be happening coming towards you. I mean, energy coming towards you. Now, with the sneaky fox out here, somebody was tipping out at like four in the morning or five in the morning. And what is this great fortune? This I want to see where this fox is going towards this great fortune. What is the great fortune? That's in reverse. That this person, this fox ain't going to get. Doing some sort of research. Where's this fox going? Boxes. Confirmation. Okay, Holy Spirit, where's this fox going? Can you show me where's the fox going? What is this great fortune? And what is this spying? Someone could either be spying or someone can be, uh, he could be going to, he's spending, a, he could spend, oh, you could be spending a lot of money on some sort of readings. Paying a reader or something. And maybe he's he he ain't got the message that this reader is unofficial. And he could be going into poverty by watching this reader. Spirit, show me energy surrounding this sneaky fox. What is he doing? Where is he going? Tell me what's going on with the sneaky fox. <laughs> oh. Somebody's person is is sneaking and, and either trying to learn how to how to read something or teach something. He's being sneaky. He's committed to this. Ooh, all these fell out. A great achievement, an increase behind the mask. This could be you, Collective. You could be a teacher behind the mask. And with commitment out here, this could be you being committed to keep wearing a mask when it comes to, you know, you teaching something. You feel like you don't have nobody to support you. But it's also an increase in your money. But you don't feel like you have the courage. <laughs> this is, I see all of this. You're committed to something and, and you're, the, 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 the great achievement is out here. The great achievement is out here. And the supportive new connections is like you got that in reverse. It's kind of, you, you're kind of like um, feeling but you're scared of babies you afraid to go in that big old building back there Feel like a, a, a like the wind is pushing you. 
off a cliff? Like you have no choice? Are you scared? No. That's the energy you're in. Or this is the energy of someone. Someone, it's like, someone is just not being a self. You got what it takes or whatever it is that you do. But you, it's like you don't, you're afraid of something. But the great achievement is coming. What else, Spirit, for the collected Holy Spirit? What is it? Family? Some of you may not, you know, you may not be talking to your family. They may um, be treating you some type of way. Somebody has three kids. Three, three kids. They're all under, um, or these may not all be your kids. These could be, somebody could have some twins and a little boy, two, um, a twin, a set of girl twins and a little boy and somebody, it's a baby. The baby is, could be six months, six months old baby. Somebody has a six month old baby. Um, these could be either your kids or you could have your nieces and nephews around. Um, someone has a child, a baby that's in heaven. Um, someone just, you, you just, people, 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 no courage, no, no supportive connection. You're feeling like people are not supporting you. You're a teacher. That's how I feel. I do, but I'm not going to worry about it. You know? Um, and not went on YouTube, on my other platform, on Facebook. It's like, on there, man, my family, they don't, they don't, they don't like what I'm doing. They think I'm, they think I'm a witch or think I'm doing witchcraft or something because I'm spiritual. Because I, I, I don't say I don't believe the Bible, but it's been tampered with. So, and, and that, that, that. Jesus Christ that they worship him. I don't worship him. That ain't Jesus. I don't know who that is. That's a. I heard it's a. Uh, I read it's a, a, a. He's a gay. Um. He was. He was a gay. Um. He was gay. Shit. And he was a model for Michelangelo. So. so uh, that ain't the way that he don't look the way that, that he was described in the Bible, and so that means parts of the Bible was taken out. If his if his eyes like fire and all of that stuff, but they showing a white man on the on the picture, where, where, where what about that? Yeah, yeah. I think he's talking about uh, the one from Africa, my heritage. Okay, but anyway, you guys, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm sitting here. And um, I got me a cheesecake. <laughs> I got me a cheesecake, and my mouth is sitting here, been watering. I've been wanting some of that cheesecake. So, hold on. All right, y'all. I'm about to end this because I'm sitting here eating some goddamn potato salad and cheesecake. Sitting in there, sweet. And if you would like to donate to my channel, information to my Cash App and my PayPal is at the top of my channel. I love you and smooches. Peace.